movie. Shot, move me. Take that, ooh wee. One shot, move me. That's all you need. Hey. One shot. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida and Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. about ready to get us going and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium and this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline It's Mostert to start the drive. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Once again, it's Mostert and go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Third and one, and two and ones to throw it. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. They're all the way in for a Miami touchdown. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. And just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And the next-gen stats are going to tell the story. And, wow, what a story it is. Nearly a full 23 miles an hour. One of the fastest plays on record, folks. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. And the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 39 yard line. Throws 
Throwing to start the drive. Allen. He's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Naeem Hines, his first carry. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Allen now looks to throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now it's Hines. And he is going to lose yardage here. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. So on the heels of the sack, they knock him backwards in the running game. So now it's up to the offense coordinator talking directly into the helmet of his quarterback. Did still a little bit of confidence here. Call the play with authority. Call with confidence and let him know this one is the winner. I don't think either one of us is surprised about who they just targeted on that one. I mean, they're going to try and get to him as much as possible. Off to a nice start, but unable to haul that one in. Yeah, already looked his way a couple of times on this opening drive. Can't connect there. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. Allen will try to throw for it. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. Okay, so the right? failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Up the middle they go with Mostert. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. 
many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing on second and eight, Tua. That's out to Hill, right? And a loose football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. He's got room at the 30. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. And he has great speed, defensive back speed. Once he got it and took off, there was no catching it. And I know every team tells you to hustle no matter what the play, but there was no chance of catching him. Maybe if it had been a defensive tackle running with the ball, but not in this case. And now the Bills will bring the offense out onto the field and go for two here. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. Flushed out right. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail on the try for two. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. now to send it away taken at the goal line and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive They'll send a receiver in motion left. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll run right side with Mostert. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll stay on the ground with Oster. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Looking to pass. Tua. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field. And this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the run of the crossing route here and the idea of it is to get...
intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. On play action, Allen. He'll buy some time right. Gets this one to Morris. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. On first down, Allen. Escaping the pressure right. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 68 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Hines will take this over the line. Touchdown, Buffalo. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. They'll try and throw for it. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 now Tua they're going deep for Hill oh and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time and his guys are going to get the football at the 28 yard line they set themselves behind the chains try to get it all back in one play and it backfired behind what do your coaches always tell you 
get it back one pitch at a time. In this case, they tried to get it back right away, and it didn't work out. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. As they, as they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And now a hook up downfield on second down. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Hines. And he is going to lose yardage here. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They stay on the ground again. It's Hines. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Naeem Hines, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. Allen off the play fake. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Ready. Tongue of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. His throw incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. So after the INT, it's Allen eluding the pressure right. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. On the double. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made 
and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And now here is another interception. And the Bills are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. That is now five interceptions that he has thrown in this ball game. If I ask you to speculate what's possibly going on in his head, what would you say? Well, if he's as mentally strong as I believe he is, he understands that not all of these picks have been his fault. You know, some of the throws, yes, but there have been a good number of them where he hasn't been helped by his own receiver.